Well, my roommate abandoned me and I'm putting off homework, so perfect time for a video. Hello guys, this is Sutton Hay, and I am here today with a little bit of a commentary on my current workout plan and the principles I used to develop it, um, leading up to why I think you should make your own plan. And so, I said a while ago, and I sh probably should have sticked to it, that every Monday I do a whiteboard video, and I have another two of them recorded, just not edited and chopped up. Because it turns out, once the college semester starts going, you get hit in the face with a lot of stuff you should have been doing you know, a couple weeks ago. So I'm getting back on my feet after that, and hope to have it uploaded this next Monday, if not sooner. So, um, my current workout plan is one that I developed myself. I definitely recommend that you build your own plan. I'm gonna go into that in this video, which is hopefully pretty short. I train seven days a week. That is not regular, and um, a lot of people don't recommend it, but uh, I have found ways to make it work. And the people I used to develop my plan, a lot of stuff from Juggernaut Training Systems. Definitely go subscribe to that channel, follow Jag Wesley Smith and um, Dr. Mike Isretel, that whole team. Um, whenever they have a video, it's like Christmas morning for me because there's always something there I can learn and apply that day to my training. And it's been immensely helpful in helping to me to take my game to the next level. And so, but the principle that I used for seven day a week training was the principle of SRA curves. That simply, I'm not big enough, I'm not advanced enough to really need that long of a rest between workouts, especially the way I've, I've spaced it out. So what I'm doing is I'm deadlifting twice a week, I'm squatting twice a week, and I'm doing a press movement three times. One of the press days is flat bench, the next one is shoulders, and the final one I do for a big accessory day. And so that would be dumbbell bench and anything I need to get myself ready for the next bench day. The two squat days are pretty much identical um, because I feel that the entire muscle group is recovered long enough in between those. Deadlift days are pretty different. One I do sumo, one I do conventional. The reasoning I'll put forward in another video, probably like this, about my deadlift program. Um, basically my conventional deadlift i am building from the top down with a lot of rack pulls and gradually lowering them lowering them towards the ground and to in order to not lose strength in a lower hip position i started doing sumo on the other day of the week it's turned out fantastic i'm not really sore after either of the days but the weights keep on going up so i'm very happy with it so that's the layout of the program now what's needed to make it work if you want to train seven days a week i think this is very important my schedule is such that I am able to devote two hours a day, um, one for training and one to go in earlier or later just to work on physical therapy stuff. So over the, the past couple of years, I've acquired a lot of different methods for working on different muscle groups for giving me problems for injury prevention and kind of gauging how my body is doing. And so being able to go in early in the day and work on myself has been absolutely key to being able to train seven days a week. If I wasn't able to do that, there's no way. I'd drop back to four days or maybe even three. But since I can go in and I can do the foam rolling and the stretching and the drilling that I need to be able to do to assess what areas are at risk and work on those that have maybe pushed a little bit too far, because I'm able to do that, seven days a week is a breeze. As long as I'm able to get enough sleep and get enough food throughout the day, it's fantastic. I have been gaining weight, not as much fat as I thought, so that's a wonderful. Um, wonderful result. I got hit I hit 240 pounds yesterday, which is way, way up there. I was 190 pounds last fall whenever I came here, so that's a huge, huge improvement for me. But also just the strength gains have been incredible. So I definitely recommend it for beginners. Not necessarily to do what I'm doing. See, the point of this video is not to say you should train seven days a week like I do, but it's to, it's to say that you should customize your own program, whether that's starting with someone else's and making your own tweaks or working from scratch. Um, because in the process you learn so much. You find out, man, I really do need to know what volume and intensity are and how they relate. Maybe SRA curves are important. And the more you learn, the more you're able to tweak your program on the fly and then help other people make theirs. The biggest reason I've been gaining in the gym is intellectual, not physical. So, this is kind of my apology video for not having the other whiteboard one up sooner. I hope you enjoyed. Definitely. Go make your own program. I'm Sutton Hank. And share this thing everywhere.